Hey, this is Robin with Can't Wait Smells Great, and I need to do a keto journey vlog. Um, I did one a couple of days ago, but, you know, couldn't get it uploaded, so I'm doing one today. So my last vlog, I told y'all, um, April 11th, you all knew I was 350 pounds, and I started back on my keto journey. I got back on the wagon. Um, I did low carb there for a while um, because of my blood sugars and everything. So anyway, um, I lost 45 pounds, and then for about a week, I kind of just stuck at 305. So Thursday evening, I decided for the weekend, I was going to go on, um, do a ketosis jump start, is what I called it. And so I just had like bacon and eggs, I had some sour cream and cheese in the, the eggs, um, mostly just regular water. Um, occasionally I'd throw in some Soleil water, but not that often. I had just regular water, lots of water. And I think Sunday night I made my version of a cabbage soup. I just like chicken broth and uh, Herb de Provence and salt and pepper and then threw in cabbage and I had some carrots and uh, zucchini and squash. Um, well, sauteed some onion and celery to begin with and then all that stuff together. Anyway, I made a little soup and Saturday morning, when I got up, my weight was 301. So that was four pounds um, in just a day. I mean, and I was going to the bathroom all the time. So from Thursday, I guess, afternoon, I had a flour tortilla. And then I didn't have any more all day Friday. And then going into Saturday. My um, blood ketones on Thursday was 0, 0.0 so nowhere near ketosis Saturday when I checked it I was 0, 0.6 and I think my blood sugar was 118 um, and my blood sugar still hadn't got under 100 that I've documented yet um, Monday morning I took my weight again it was 301 my blood ketone level was 0, 0.8 and my blood sugar was 108 so I was so pleased. I lost four pounds over the weekend. Um, then yesterday, my weight was 300. So I lost another pound. Well, just a little bit ago, I checked my weight and I've got to my goal. My first goal was 299. I have lost 51 pounds just since April the 11th. And y'all have no idea I mean I'm sure you can see I'm so excited but like my daughter knows how important it was for me to lose that 50 pounds because I had regained and then had added on so that it has not been easy I will say um, I know it seems like folks kind of want try to say well you've been in ketosis before this should be a, a cake piece of cake for you <laughs> so to speak you know you should be able to just hop back on and get right back into ketosis and ride no um especially with the blood sugars um this has not been easy and i am just super proud of myself and excited that i am under 300 again and i i don't want to see the 300s ever again i'm at 299 and it's just like okay I got a hundred to go for my next, you know, for my big goal for the year. I want to get under 200 pounds, so I've got another hundred to go. Um, it's not going to be easy. Hadn't been easy this far, so just going to work at it. But leaving those flour tortillas off made a huge difference. Like I said, bacon and eggs, and um, I think I had some bologna maybe, just basically meats and eggs, and I had a little bit of cheese and a little bit of sour cream. And that was basically it until Sunday night, and I had the veggie soup th type thing. Um, but yes, I just weighed. I was 299. I haven't checked my blood ketone level yet today, but I'm sure it's good. Um, but I wanted to share that with you all. Um, I'm excited. I messed up on my last video. I was thinking this past weekend coming into it, we were going into Father's Day. And then, like, next weekend was going to be the weekend before the 4th of July. I was all messed up. So, this coming up weekend is Father's Day. The next weekend, that Sunday, 
is when we will be releasing our teaser videos and then that Tuesday before the 4th of July weekend we'll be releasing our second uh, summer cookout collab the second installment for the 4th of July and I'm excited um, I did take back that little grill that I had bought it was supposed to have been portable but the, it was so heavy I couldn't move it and well I could move it but not a lot because of my back and stuff so I took it back yesterday I have a different charcoal grill and we will try it out for my 4th of July cookout video I'm excited about it so if you haven't seen the Memorial Day cookout collab, I have a playlist. Just click on that play playlist and see everybody that did the Memorial Day one. Um, we may have a couple new ones that's coming in for 4th of July, but then some of the other ones aren't doing it this time. But it's still a group of good, good YouTubers with lots of good ideas and recipes for you. So go back and watch the Memorial Day ones. It's a lot of good ideas you can use for any kind of cookout or gathering. Um, great videos good folks uh, like and follow their um, subscribe to their channels and everything they're good folks um, thank y'all for being here for me uh, share me out if you can uh, of course if you're not subscribed please subscribe and click that notification bell so you can know when I upload new videos uh, comment that helps me to have engagement with my viewers and find me on other platforms I'm on Instagram I'm on Twitter which I don't use that often, but I do use it. Um, what else? I'm on Pinterest, Facebook, of course. Um, and <laughs> I've started using TikTok and playing over there, uh, but it's not under Can't Wait Smells Great. It's under um, where I'm doing Ring Bomb Party. And if you have any questions about Ring Bomb, they are awesome. Um, they are like uh, bath bombs, but they don't have any emollients or... Uh, uh, fragrances or anything and we drop them in hot water and it reveals a custom designed ring and the ring can you're paying like for the original collection they're $17.95 and they could be suggested retail value of $25 up to a thousand dollars and there are all kinds of stones and they have rose gold they have white gold they have yellow gold they have uh, 0.925 sterling silver um, they have the rhodium plated which is kind of like a platinum um, so they have all kinds of goodies and it's American made so uh, you can find me on Instagram and uh, TikTok and Facebook it's Twinklers for Dreamers and the number four Twinklers for Dreamers and just check it out and see what you think I'll be having a party on Saturday um, and if you pre-order from from me I have a gift that I'm gonna be drawing for um, and then of course uh, we're going to party and have a good time. So y'all check it out. Like my business page and, and help me out there. Um, I love you all and I will see you soon.